Hello and welcome back to the Excelty videos. Today in this tutorial, we will discuss how to use COUNTIF function along with its advanced features in Excel. Microsoft Excel COUNTIF function lets you count the number of cells in a range that meets criteria you specify. In other words, COUNTIF function counts the number of times a supplied criterion is found in a selected range. It combines COUNT and IF function together where the IF condition of the function checks for the criteria that meets and COUNT portion counts those items and then return in a cell. COUNT IF function takes two arguments and both arguments are required for the function to work and we'll discuss this in detail later in this tutorial. Let's understand the uses of COUNT IF function and how it can be used in unseen situations with the help of examples. As you can see, we have taken a sample database on the left side from column A to D and on the right side based on the criteria mentioned in column H, we will get the desired output in column I. Alright, now we move on to the first example where we need to look for the number of times the theme the brain trust has appeared in column A. So we go to cell I9 and we enter count if function and hit tab 2 to complete. As we mentioned in the beginning, Count if function takes only two arguments and both arguments are required function to work. The first argument is the range of the cells to be evaluated by the criteria. It can either be a cell reference that contains string, ranges, named ranges, numbers, text or an array. The second argument is criteria that is used to determine which cells will be counted. It can be supplied as a text, numbers, expressions or reference to the cell location. Any logical or mathematical operators should be enclosed in double quotes whereas numbers can be supplied directly without quotation marks in the criteria argument. Okay. Now as we have to look for the number of times team the brain trust has appeared in column A. So we select A9 to A21 as the range in the first argument and in the criteria either we can type it manually in double quotes or can select the cell that contains the brain trust. For now, we type the brain trust in double quotes and then we close the parenthesis and hit enter. Function returns 3 as the answer in cell I9 and if we go to column A and look for the brain trust team manually, we can see only 3 times it is repeating in the range. So function successfully counted the number of times team appeared in the supplied range. In the second example, we have to count the number of times teams begin with word the. So we enter count if function in cell i10 and take a9 to a21 again. In the second argument, we will use wildcard character as this after typing the in double quotes as we have learnt in basic formulas and function series that the question mark and asterisk are two wildcard characters which can be used as the criteria argument. Question mark matches any single character whereas an asterisk matches any sequence of character and as we have to look for the teams that are starting with word the we have used an asterisk sign after the criteria we entered. Anyways we hit enter and here you go. Function returns 6 as the count of teams that are starting with word the in column A. And in the next example, we'll see how we can get the number of times teams that are ending with letter S. So to do the same, we'll use the S sign again, but this time we'll use it before we type criteria. And as soon as we close the parenthesis and hit enter, we get 10 as the count of teams that are ending with letter S in cell I11. Now, if you look at column A, there are four teams, the Bean Counters, Charlie's Angels, Haughty Leaders and the Brain Trust, out of which three are repeating 10 times that contain letter S at the end. So, if you look at like, look at this, the Bean Counter, Charlie's Angels, Haughty Leaders, the Bean Counters, Charlie's Angels, then A15, Charlie's Angels, A 16 hot leaders, A18, A20 and A21 and the count is 10. And hence function return 10 as the answer in cell I11. Alright, now we move on to the next example 
where we tell function to count cells that contain letters E and A in sequence in range A9 to B21. So we type count if function here and hit tab to autocomplete. In the first argument, we select A9 to B21 as range and then in the second argument, we first enter quotation mark, then asterisk, then letter E and A and once again asterisk and close the quotation mark and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function returns 7 as the number of counts of string which has letters E and A from A9 to B21 range. So this is how you can use as this wildcard character along with the criteria argument to get the count of the items that you're looking for. In the next example, we'll see the uses of another wildcard character that is question mark and how it can be combined with the specific string to count the number of cells in a range that meets criteria. And look at the query we have in cell G13. It says count cells that contain only 12 letters and E and R at the 5th and 12th position respectively in column B. So we type count if function here in cell I13 and hit tab to autocomplete. In the first argument, we select B9 to B21 as the range, then comma. As we know that we need to first look for those cells which have only 12 letters, then need to look for letters E and R at specified position. So to do the same, we enter quotation mark first and then four times question mark, then letter E, then six more time question mark, sign followed by letter R at the end, then another quotation mark and close the parenthesis. And as soon as we hit enter, we get three as the result of count of reps, which have 12 letters name along with letters E and R at fifth and 12th position. To confirm, let's have a look at the column B once and when we manually do the check, we can also see that there are only three rep names which meet the criteria and they are Steve Miller, Jenny Venter and Dishil Causer. As we have discussed in the beginning that wildcard character question mark matches any single character and here as we have used 10 question mark four before the first criteria and six before the second criteria. So each question mark represent one character which help function to return the output based on the criteria supplied to the formula hence function return 3 as the answer in cell i13. Okay, now we move on to the sixth example where we will count the cell in the table which contains any type of text entry. So we type count if function and then select a9 to d21 and once again will use wildcard character so we enter as this inside quotation mark and hit enter as soon as we hit enter function return 27 as the answer but we can only see 26 text entries which are located in column a and b then why function return 27 as the answer that's because if you look carefully at c21 it has number but as a text entry a green sign on top of the left corner appears when any number is stored as text in a cell and that is why function found 27 cells which contain text and return in cell i14. And when we look for cells that do not contain any text entry in the table, c21 will be excluded and function will return 25 as the answer in cell. And the moment we convert C21 into proper number, you can see that I14 and I15 both have been changed to 26 now. That's because now there are 26 text entries and 26 non-text entries in the table. All right. As we have learned how to use wildcard characters in criteria, so in the next example, we'll see how to look and get the count for multiple things in a same range using countif function. So we go to cell I16 and enter function. At this time we need to find out for two teams in the same range that how many times both teams have appeared in the given range. 
So we first select A9 to A21 and then type the first team name 40 leaders. Sorry. In double quotes and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, we got three as the answer. Anyway, we go into the edit mode and as we need to see the count for both teams, we go to last and we add another count if function where we'll get the count for other team. Charlie's angel. So let us select the range again and then as a second criteria, we type Charlie angels in double quotes and hit enter. So let us change the format for two custom in general. And here we go. We get seven as the answer in cell I-16. So if you look at the Charlie's angels are there in the range four times and haughty leaders exist three times in the range. Hence the function returns seven as the answer in I-16. Okay, in the ninth example, we want to see how many sales are greater than 30. So we enter count if function in I-17 and hit tab to autocomplete. We select C9 to C21 as range and then in double quotes, we type greater than 30 and hit, sorry, hit enter. Function return 8 as the answer in cell I-17. So it means there are 8 entries of sales which are greater than 30 in the range. Similarly, when we look for number of sales which are lesser than 42, function returns 9 as the number of sales which are lesser than the criteria we have entered in the argument. Now we move on to the 11th example where we need to look for the number of sales amount which are not equal to $19,000. Remember how we have used less than and greater than operators facing each other for not equal to purpose in 7th example. We'll use the same here before we enter the criteria value. So we first select range D9 to D21 then comma. Now there are two ways to look for number of sales which are not equal to $19,000. First way, we can supply both not equal to operator and criteria value inside quotation mark or we can have only not equal to comparison operator in quotation marks then ampersand sign and then criteria value. Both can be used here and for now we will follow the second method and will enter not equal to comparison operator in double quotes then ampersand sign and then 19,000 value and hit enter. Function gives us 11 as the number of sales amount which are not equal to $19,000. That's right because we can see two entries in the cell D18 and D19 of $19,000. Similarly, you can remove the not equal to operator and can look for number of sales amount which are equal to $19,000 or any specific value. For equal to purpose, you don't need to use any operator as by default, the second criteria which is criteria if entered without any operator is considered to be equal to that items and function returns accordingly. In the last and 12th example, we need to look for the number of sales which lies between 20 and 40. Since we know that count if function does not take more than one criteria and count if s would be the best function when there is more than one criteria. But wait, this is a small but interesting thing. What we need to do is to first look for the number of sales which are greater than 20. So we enter greater than 20 in double quotes and close the parenthesis. Now we'll subtract the number of sales which are greater than 40. So we enter another count if function here and take the sales range again and then we enter greater than 40 in the second argument and close the parenthesis and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function return 8 as the number of sales which are between 20 and 40. And if you look at the sales range, there are only 8 cells which fall in the supplied criteria. So how did we get this? Let's have a look at the function one more time. We first look for the cell which are above 20 and if you look at the sales range, there are 
12 cells which are above 20 except 19 which is in C13 and then we subtract the number of cells which are above 40 and there are only 4 entries which are above 40s and if you subtract 4 from 12 the answer would be 8 which function return in cell I20. Well, this is how you can use count if function at different places for different kinds of requirements. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends. That's all for now. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.